everyone. I'm getting flashbacks to when I was in high school and I would vlog like this. And it's making me sentimental, which is actually the point of this video. So it kind of works out perfectly because today's video is going to be a compilation of the yeah. album. I think whenever I'm home, I get very excited while also getting very, very sad. And I think that's a really weird um, contrast of feelings. I Or this break, winter break, I'm only going to be home for three weeks. We have to stay late and go back early for RA stuff. So it's literally exactly three weeks. And I just thought I would document it. And mainly this video is going to be around like nostalgia, I guess. This video is going to be video diary it'll be fun somewhat I think because I am currently like on the way to my home target and I know that sounds so simple but every time I come home it is weird driving around because this city doesn't feel like my city anymore and it's really strange to feel like your home is someplace you've only spent two years in and I don't know exactly why that feeling is, is because this place feels like my home, but every time I come back, and especially with things that have progressed in like the last six months, it feels like the me that used to live here is like nowhere to be found. And I think mainly like what I'm speaking about is this Aubrey that used to exist in this place, and she no longer exists. And so when I come here, it feels very strange. And I don't know I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, this entire break, I think I'm just going to try to make it new. Like, we don't need to make it past Aubrey or anything like that. This time that I have in these next few weeks is time for me to not take back because it was never taken away, but just add just add new memories and new things. I wanna do things on my own and not be as sad when I come back here. I'll say like me saying I don't wanna be sad. It's not that I necessarily get sad. It's just almost a feeling of loss or of like, I don't know. I think that's actually perfect. It, it's a feeling of loss and it's difficult when you, ex I don't know. I don't know if I'm the only one that experiences this, but when I come back from break, I think a part of me expects nothing to have changed. Like, since I'm living my own life, I'm like, oh, all these people in my life, they're not living their own life. And I know that's very, like, maybe self-centered, like, way of thinking, but, like, that that's genuinely how I, like, view it. I come back and I'm like, oh my gosh, my brother, my brother is taller than he was when I last left. And it's part of, part of me doesn't expect that to happen. So, I don't know what I'm saying. This video is just gonna be exactly what I said. <laughs> A diary of me being home for winter break for the next three weeks and just trying to navigate feelings to my home target right now, so. I haven't vlogged in a bit, honestly, since the first day I got here, and I would consider this day three. It's like my third full day. It's Wednesday, no, Monday night. My sister and her boyfriend actually made salt dough ornaments, and I thought it was super fun. I actually third wheeled, which was an interesting experience because I don't think I've ever done that for them, honestly, and it was nice. I made a winter bucket list for Romanticizing winter, I have mentioned in many videos this year, has been a very transfer, transforming, transformational year. And I'm just trying to make the most out of it. So I actually did make a winter bucket list and I'll just put it right here, but I need to pull it up for myself. Something that I've been doing is I've been having an iced coffee, but in a mug, I know kind of goes against like what mugs are for. But I've been getting an iced coffee and it has been like my saving grace every morning. I have not been a person that's liked caffeine. This is a new addiction, like definitely in the past like several months because I don't know, trying new things and I love this. It, I look forward to it every morning. 
winter bucket list i just put five things on there i actually have another one with my friends at college but for my winter bucket list here is the first one was to go see lights i don't think i took any videos or anything like that but i'll go ahead and enter a photo of my dog looking at them we have a winter wonderland at our lake and we always go there every year so i knew i was going to be doing this which sometimes it's nice to write down things that you know you're going to get done just to get the validation from checking it off i don't know if that's like some type of like mind game or something but when you check something off it encourages you to keep on checking things off the thing i had was to make ornaments and me and my sister did that i think i took like one clip i took a few photos the last few things on my winter bucket list is the first one is playing snow and this encapsulates like everything snow angels snowman snow fight um sledding what else do you do in the snow i think that's it um i'm actually hoping i can get to check this off tomorrow because it's supposed to start snowing tonight and yeah i think it would be really fun i have watched a christmas movie with hot cocoa ow my arm just popped i would really really love to watch a christmas movie i don't know which one i actually watched um barbie and the nutcracker with my friends at college so i think i'm wanting to either watch the barbie and a christmas carol i know i don't know what it is about barbie movies i love them so either that one or i really want to watch um rudolph the one that's like clay nation something about that movie is just like nostalgia encapsulated into a film and i really want to watch that that with my family so hopefully that happens and then the last one i have is go ice skating this one is probably one that i don't see myself doing i want to do it i either want to do it by myself with my family with my friends i'm just gonna do it sometime and i'm gonna have so much fun because that's something i want to do and i suck at ice skating i suck at roller skating and at ice skating any of that stuff i suck at it so i really want to go ice skating i think it'd be really fun but that is a little update i'm gonna try to keep on updating you guys more often because i don't know this is just a vlog while i'm at home it's been really nice to be home i'm actually doing like a tiktok day in the life type of thing i'm home for like 20 days i think 21 if you counted the first day i was here but i didn't make a tiktok for that so we're not counting it um but i'm making that which is really fun so if you want to see like that you should follow me on tiktok but i've been like getting dressed every day i work monday through friday and today i don't work at 8 a.m but every other day i work at 8 a.m i actually don't work until 1 30 i only work three and a half hours which is kind of nice like a mid midweek break but i've been dressing up i've been doing my morning routine getting dressed and i think i am like i think i was designed to be a librarian because look at my fit okay genuinely think I was designed to be a librarian and I am not kidding I think when I retire I might just do it so anyways I'm gonna drink my coffee and I will talk to you guys soon okay guys it's exciting because yesterday was the first day of Christmas and it snowed all last night and it's funny because I'm literally wearing a tank top but my dog hates the snow but he was kind of cute this morning and yeah i'm just i'm excited because something on my bucket list was to play in the snow and i know i mentioned that already so hopefully maybe today i'll go out there and play in it i don't know how much there is or if i actually will but i'm excited because since i work um for university of kansas my college we are closed on snow days which means my office is closed so i am not working from home today which is kind of sad because i didn't think about that like waking up this morning so like i woke up at six and got ready for the day and even clocked in for 30 minutes and then i was like wait no one else is active on teams i'm not working right now and so yeah it's nine almost 9 30 right now and i've just been chilling i actually made my vision board i clean it this year i feel like 2023 is gonna be a good year um three is my favorite number <laughs> uh i don't remember 2013 and 2003 i was one assuming those years were pretty good so this year is going to be awesome i'm declaring it 2023 it has my lucky number in it it's going to be a great year and i'm just looking forward to it and yeah that's a little update just wanted to talk I'm trying to talk a little bit more the vibes in here are so good i love it my candle's burning um so cute i put those christmas sheets on over thanksgiving break but obviously i don't get that much time with them i'll probably keep them on until i leave so it'll be like january 6th that i take them off so it'll be fine but i love them so much and they're super warm which is really nice but 
anyways <laughs> that's all that's a little update and like now i have all this time today that i have no idea what i'm gonna do you just play sims i don't know i've been loving sims but that's it right now i'm very excited i am feeling all the wintery vibes right now hi everybody thought i would update i am cosplaying i'm pretending i went to the 1989 tour i did not don't know where the shirt went or i don't know where the shirt came from but i'm wearing it i thought i would update the vlog because i'm doing such a bad job at vlogging but that's okay because that means i've been doing other things where i haven't felt the need to relay my personal thoughts because this is more of like a video diary a brain vomit if you will um but anyways it is currently the 27th of december i just got back from spending the night at my friend feline's house which was so fun she's my childhood bestie um unfortunately leah wasn't there she's our other half of our she's the other third of our trio but um i've known feline since i was seven and i'm 20. that is crazy anyways it was really nice to catch up with her and i think we're gonna hang out again soon hopefully because i still have like a week and a half here and so yeah i just wanted to vlog update christmas was very good it was fun christmas eve we watched um rudolph the red-nosed reindeer which i really wanted to watch that one so i'm glad i did it was super good and then i also just had a really good christmas this week i don't have work because our office is closed just because nobody needs advice in this week, I guess. i shopping with my grandma, so I'll try to vlog more for the next week and a half. Um, but again, this video is kind of like a video diary. I'm currently doing a reading vlog, so I'm doing that if you want to see what else I was doing this break. But anyways, I'm very tired because Feline and I did not go to bed until like 3 something or maybe even later than that. And even though I slept in this morning, I'm still tired. So I think I'm going to read my book. This is a sneak peek on what i'm reading um but yeah that's a little update christmas is good it was a little weird but we can talk about that later okay hey guys what's up um i am wearing a scarf and my coat but it is like way too hot to be wearing this but we're doing it for fashion okay um but anyways as you can tell i'm out and about i actually just left the mall i was literally here yesterday with my grandma and my siblings and my cousin bennett but when I was there, when we were- Okay, Taylor, try not to expose me like that. Oh my gosh, I forgot I had this car thing. And I haven't refilled this in probably, I don't know, probably a year? Or maybe six months, I can't really remember. But, like a gift that I never bought myself, someone else would always buy them for me. And so I'm like, well, they're having their semi-annual sale. So I went up and picked up three because it was three for ten and i just want to say yesterday when i was there there was one called tis the season and i was like i'm gonna go tomorrow and i'm gonna go get that but they didn't have it so i got endless weekend ocean and then sun drenched linen so i'm thinking we're gonna put endless weekend in because that is the least summary out of all of them change this out and put it in oh that smells so good Okay, I'm putting it in my little vent. And there we go, now we have a new scent. Fresh start, endless weekend. And then I'm gonna give you guys a little Target haul. I went in needing three things and I got exactly those three things. My Target did have Stanley Cups and I was tempted, but they didn't have a color that I really liked. Like they had this like pearlescent blue color, but I was like, mm, not the vibe. So I skipped out on that, but I did get the rest of my list which was some dry shampoo, a cleansing balm, because I do double cleanse by just by just washing my face twice. But I'm like, I feel like I need a cleansing balm, especially because I'm gonna start wearing makeup, I think. We'll talk about that later. Um, and then I really wanted a makeup bag, <laughs> more on the makeup thing. But all the makeup bags were so expensive and they weren't really what I wanted. And so I went into the desk stuff and I found this. It's a little desk kit. And it was $13.99, which is cheaper than all of the makeup bags that were at Target. And yes, it does say office tools, but that's fine, okay? I honestly didn't recognize that until right now, but that's fine because I wanted one that was standing up, not just a pencil pouch. And this one was cheaper, than, and it came with extra stuff than all the other freaking stuff. 
hem pencil clips, and then I have no idea what the heck this is. What is this? What are these scissors? You're lying. You're lying. You're absolutely lying. That is that. That's amazing. I am on my way to McAllister's. My sister works at 11. It's 10.30 right now, but I'm just gonna head that way now because that's what you have to do. I need to get my grad application in. And so this is the only day I'm probably gonna work on it. I just feel that in my bones. So we're gonna go work on that. Okay, hey guys, we are currently at my hometown's lake. I just submitted I know it's gonna be so windy, oh my gosh. I actually just submitted my grad school application and I left McAllister's because I went to McAllister's to see my sister, I think I said that. And I remember when I literally started this vlog, I was like, this video is supposed to be about me like taking back or just like creating new memories to where um, like it feels like I can do things on my own and go places and be content with like who I am and what I'm doing. And I had that like thought again when I was leaving McAllister's because I started journaling in my car. And I was like, you know what? No, I'm gonna go to our lake and I'm gonna sit here where there's a whole bunch of memories and I'm gonna have fun being by myself in a spot, literally so like in this exact spot, there's been so many things that happen here. Like I walked across the lake there um, the day me and my first boyfriend broke up. And the reason that kind of counts is because it just, it started, it started new things. And like, I walked across the freaking lake, which is so dumb, don't do that. Um, it was frozen. And then over here, these hills are where I sled, um, or I had sled for like every year since that same year that I walked across the lake actually. And like, there's a Frisbee golf court. Like I can see a Frisbee golf thing right there. I don't know what I mean by doing that, but I just want to be content with myself. And honestly, like this is a, this is so much fun and I am having fun and I think I'm just realizing that I'm okay by myself and I'm gonna bring in some Christian knowledge because because I'm a Christian and I've been having a lot of redirection in my life and just being saved by the Lord and things like that so it's important to talk about but I keep on saying like oh like being but being okay by myself but that's a great thing about Christianity is I never feel alone because I know God's there and I know that might that might sound cliche, but it's so true. And that's, that's all I can say. Also, I tried to slick back my hair and I just I just feel like I, I feel like I just look like an egg. But you know what, that's okay. It is getting chilly, it was super sunny out here. And then literally as soon as it got out, it just, it just stopped being sunny. So I think we're gonna go home. And anyways, we are going ice skating, which is the last thing on my list because I've checked off everything but ice skating. And last night my mom was like, do you want to go ice skating? And I was like, heck yes. And so we're doing that at three and it's 12.30 right now. So I'm gonna, oh, the sun, the sun's coming out. I'm gonna go home and just hang out, probably read or something. I would stay out here because it's so pretty, but it's just too windy as I'm sure you guys can hear. So sorry about that. But yeah, I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I only have like a week little over a week I think like nine days left a break so I'm trying to enjoy it while I'm here and yeah I'm gonna drink my tea I journaled for a little bit cheers I feel like I should probably journal just I don't know people do that I feel like I'm super intimidated by journaling I don't know why because I do I used to like love journaling it used to be really fun and easy but then something happened like in the past year where it became really intimidating I'm not sure why which I don't want it to be intimidating because I want to write about what's going on in my life and things like this so I'm gonna grab my journal my journal it's kind of funny I was trying to use all the journals so it's like not aesthetic at all and it actually is a KU journal and so I added stickers which kind of just makes it even more funny so I have the Raven bookstore which is a small independent bookstore in Lawrence I have a rock chalk Jayhawk then I have two of Bella and Edward I don't even know what this is but it's there, don't know what it is. And then I have a Glossier um, sticker. So this is what my little journal looks like, which 
I love her. She's cute. Um, but anyways, we are going to journal. I'm gonna, I'm trying to think of like some prompts that I've heard of. I don't know. We'll go ahead and read it. It's like, it's not really that personal. Um, because like I said, I don't really do, I don't really do New Year's Eve, like, or New Year's resolutions, but what milestones did you reach this year? I went ahead and wrote travel abroad to the UK. I traveled for the first time, rode a plane for the first time, which is insane that it was to England. Like that's insane, but I did that on my own, which is so fun. And yeah, super proud of that milestone. Then I have running a 5K. Um, that was my resolution for last year and Accomplished it. I crushed it. I did it. Um, next one I have getting baptized, which in my opinion is the most important. I am so, so grateful that all of this year was very hard. Um, as you, if you guys <laughs> follow me, you know, I went through a breakup this year and although that sucks and like other things came out of that, baptized is just like, oh my gosh, um, like that is the number one thing I'm most proud of and so grateful for that happened this year. And I'm super super glad about that last one i have is getting closer to my mom i feel like me and my mom have had like kind of like up and down relationship mom if you're watching this love you there's just like certain seasons where you feel closer to different people at times and again like through my breakup this year i am grateful that i was able to get closer to my mom and just so, so we're being aware i'm not going to be one of those persons that's like oh my breakup is the best thing that happened to me because it was actually the worst thing that has happened to me or that i've gone through but the best thing that has happened through that is like how i handled it and through myself i'm not saying i handled it perfectly but there are things that i did such as getting closer to god getting baptized um making sure my goals were achieved like doing really well in school getting closer to my mom there are things that i chose to focus on and I'm very proud of that. And so, yeah, those are my milestones. The question I wrote down is, what was the lesson you learned this year? And I said not to put my worth in my significant other slash how to be alone. And the reason I put alone in quotation marks is because we're never alone. Like, you may feel like you're alone, but you have family, you have friends, you have God. And so, there are two things that I learned this year. And one thing I will say on the first note is not to put my worth in my significant other. I didn't realize I was doing that <laughs> literally until probably a couple months ago. And so once I realized that, it was just like a transformational shift where I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I was doing that. And that's probably why part of it didn't succeed. One of the reasons why it didn't succeed is because I was putting so much focus and like part of my worth and identity into this person. And that's not, that's not how it should be. Two lessons that I learned. Um, number three, what are you most grateful for from this year? I wrote down the ability to recognize that I wanted to pursue the Lord. Like I said, getting baptized pushing through um, one of the hardest times, especially when so many crazy things are happening. I'm so, so grateful that I have come through this year having a passion, like a fiery passion uh, to chase the Lord. And it's, it's very exciting. Four, what did you discover about yourself this year? And I wrote that I love traveling. I was so nervous for the plane ride, but I actually ended up loving the flight. I will say like the check, the process to get onto the plane is very nerve-wracking, but the actual plane ride, traveling, I had no issue with it and I loved it so much and I definitely want to travel again in the future. Um, and yeah, number five is just what's your resolution for next year? And I said, run a 10K, graduate with honors, and then 1,000 plus subscribers or followers, whatever, however we want to do it. And yeah, that is kind of like my 2023, 2022 reflection, 2023 plans, but that that's that okay guys we're at Libby's house now this is her room <laughs> and we just ate dinner we ate chipotle Libby got a new camera yeah it's camera reception <laughs> <laughs> love that anyways let this the, is terrifying let the party start she's a vlog look at this <laughs> <laughs> please send that to me that's actually amazing Hey guys, I am currently in my coat. Yes, I am working from home today and I'm freezing and I just need to be in my coat and I feel like my toes are gonna fall off, but that is not what this clip is for. I got my nails done. I know the last clip you guys saw, I was at Libby's house. I spent New Year's Eve, New Year's Day with Libby, which was awesome. And yeah, today's the fourth. It is like three days I leave back for Lawrence. And so I think this is going to probably be the last clip where I'm talking. That way I can actually like end off the video. Um, I might vlog like little random clips 
from now until then but yeah i think this winter break was the best winter break i've ever had like in my entire life and i solely believe that's based on the fact that i was forced to like spend time alone because because when i'm home for break i would i don't know just distract myself i think or like spend time with other people but when i was here like i actually allowed myself to sit in my thoughts and feel my feelings and go places alone or even spend time with people like i hung out with my friend feline i didn't get to see leah this break which i'm very sad about but i'll see her soon enough um i also was able to hang out with libby as you guys saw in her family i got to see um, my friend bryce and see my friend blaine today i'm gonna see my friend lauren um just like getting time to spend with people and it was just very nice also just time with my family um it was incredible i just had such a very very merry christmas and a very very happy new year and i'm just so like if you can't tell i'm so excited for 2023 like i just feel i feel like it's gonna be very good like so many exciting things like my sister's graduating in 2023 i'm graduating in 2023 um i don't know what else taylor swift's happening in 2023 there's so many things that i'm just so grateful for and i just think that this winter break specifically was a bit like it was time that i needed to myself it, it's just been very nice like i feel reset reset for the new the new year the the new semester and yeah i'm excited and hopefully you guys can enjoy my little clips it was just random little vlogs from this break but yeah i'm so excited to be back and hopefully you enjoy this and yeah, I'm going to say peace and love now because I don't know what will be after this. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for making 2022 a great year. And I can't wait to see like the growth and like what's going to happen in 2023. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye guys.